Hey YouTube, this is Wyoming's Alcoholic. Um, I wanted to add another little segment to that uh, review of this rangefinder simply because of the fact that I guess I didn't show you guys the boxing, the packaging, and what little bit it does come with. But uh, so, and if you happen to be watching this video first, I'm going to go ahead and post the link to kind of my field review video of this same thing. I took it out to my parents ranch there and uh, I was uh, checking the, the range finding on it and using the reticle and I discussed a little bit about the arc on here and that and uh, so yeah so anyways if, if you want to see that actual review a field review you can uh, look for the link in this video uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and just unbox this and kind of show you guys what this came with. So yeah, this is the Trophy Extreme Bushnell with the ARC system. It's the 4x20mm and it's the 7-850 yard uh, laser range finder. So on the back it kind of has some stuff here. Uh, it talks about reflective items. Um, the like trees and deer and it's just basically telling you that it works in these environments um, the minimum it'll work and the maximum it'll work with these so uh, it looks like it's saying the max yard for a deer is like 200 yards so I'm not sure you know it says the minimum is 183 meters or oh, that's the max, so the max is 200 yards, the minimum is 70 yards, so if you're long range shooting with this, if you're one of those people that shoots like 500 yards or whatever, um, probably don't want to use this one. It's interesting though, it can range reflective or trees, you know, 600 yards and 850 yards, so I guess you could range something next to the elk that you're looking at and probably get an idea of what it is. But yeah, that's 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 uh, odd that the deers only range at max of 200. Um, but that doesn't matter to me. Like I said it, uh, in my other video, we don't. I don't really like to shoot at anything that far, anyways. I like to get close to the elk if I can, or the deer, or whatever I'm hunting. Um, especially with archery, that's the reason I got this. Well, I can pretty much have a good idea of range. Um, but you know, five or give or take five yards or so, but with a uh, bow, that's quite a significant difference. So, yeah, so that's interesting. That might change your idea of this or your opinion a little bit. So, yep, this comes through here. And you just take this tab out. It's got this backing. So, and it, like I said, it doesn't come with a whole lot. But for 130 bucks, I didn't expect a whole lot. It's got this pack. And look, there's a lanyard in there. Remember how I said I would hook a lanyard in it? This may not be long enough to go around my neck, though. So, But, anyways, there's a lanyard in here. I never even looked in there. This is just the magnetic pouch that holds it. I guess that is less noisy in the field. Um, I don't know if I built this thing or not. It's got this stupid carabiner hook on it. I think that's a good way to lose stuff. But, maybe not. Maybe you've had good luck with that stuff. I personally like to belt things or have them around my neck. <laughs> so, yeah, it comes with that case. Um, what else do we got here? So this is just the box. Uh, so we got the lanyard. Uh, we got uh, registration, so I guess you can register it if you want. And here's the uh, booklet that kind of tells you about it. Um, looks like it's got warranty information, and half of it's French, and the other half is Spanish. So that's great. Yeah, so pretty much this is America anymore these days. We gotta print extra stuff. It would normally be this thick instead of this thick because that's the English side the rest of this is French and Spanish and German I don't know what all else so 
Um, but yeah, this is pretty much English. Um, as you can see, it's pages 4 through 13. And then it's got it in French, Spanish, uh, Dutch. Or is that German? That must be German and Italian. So Very diverse instruction booklet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it talks about that bow mode in there and the arc, which I've kind of discussed the arc in the other video already. So, yeah, some basic instructions, not much really there. It's kind of neat here, but well, you're going to throw it away anyways. Uh, cleaning cloth, so. And then, like I said, here's the, the actual range finder. So, again, this is the rangefinder. I like I said, I probably didn't show you enough of what it came in and the packaging and what came with it, and I apologize for that. I wish I could add this to the other video, but I'll just go ahead and make two different videos. But anyways, yeah. So not much to it. Like I said, here's the quick find, or I call it a quick find button, but right on top. You tap it once to bring up the reticle and then you put it on your target you're looking at and hold it down and it'll arrange it for you. So again this is my very first range finder. It seemed to work pretty good on my parents place. It's really ironic that we have stuff marked out to 200 yards out there. <laughs> this says the max for a deer is 200 yards. So pretty interesting. I wonder if elk's in that same range or if this is just that's a white tail so maybe it's a kind of hide. Maybe a mill deer being gray hair wouldn't have the same uh, reflective value I'm not sure but you can range a reflective object to 850 yards a tree to 600 and a deer to that well most of the time where I'm hunting elk there's trees around the elk anyways and I'm not gonna be shooting that far to an elk anyhow like I said that's just not how I hunt but yeah so if you're a long-range boomer and you're trying to shoot an elk with your 300 wind mag out at 800, mi 800 yards with a spectacular shot, this probably isn't the one for you because you're probably going to be shooting them out in the open plains. And yeah, that's probably, this is probably not what you want. If you're wanting just to, it looks like, you know, reflective things or trees, I mean, if you're just wanting to target shooting range, you could probably find something to work with it. I don't think that would be a problem. I wouldn't think, anyways. But, anyways, yeah, so there it is, the Trophy Extreme. Like I said, this is the 4x20, 7850 yard laser rangefinder. And uh, that's all about I guess that's all I have to say about it. So, anyways, like I said, I'll go and use this. And if I have any updates or anything, if I change my mind on it, I'll let you guys know in a follow up video. But for now, I don't seem to, I don't have any issues with this. Anything I'm seeing, even the 200 yards to a deer, it doesn't bother me. So. With that, stay classy Wyoming. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down here if you want. Uh, it's this comment section down here. If you have any suggestions or your own experiences with this, be sure to share it with everybody. And uh, like I said, like and subscribe if you don't mind. Um, but yeah, stay classy Wyoming and have a good day.